what do you do if you are multiplying or dividing variables of uncertainties? Once again, the equation is hard to derive but easy to use, as there's so much of statistics. So if r, the number we're after, equals a times b, or a over b, or b over a, then the equation for the uncertainty is the uncertainty in r divided by r squared equals the uncertainty in a divided by a squared plus the uncertainty in b divided by b squared. And that doesn't matter whether they're multiplied, divided, or which way around the division is. The equation is the same regardless. So what this is telling us is that the fractional uncertainty in R squared equals the fractional uncertainty in A squared plus the fractional uncertainty in B squared. So again, we're adding in quadrature, squaring, adding together. But now it's the fractional uncertainties we square, not the actual uncertainties. So it's quite similar to the addition and subtraction one, except to use the fractions rather than the actual numerical values. Let's have an example. Let's say you're trying to measure the average gradient of a road. So let's say we have a road. And from Google Maps, we measure the distance from the start to the end of the road. Let's call that L, and that's 2.3 plus or minus 0.1 kilometers. And using an altimeter, maybe on our smartphones, we measure the height gain. And that comes out as height of 200 meters plus or minus 30 meters. Now, what is the gradient? And in particular, what is the uncertainty in this gradient? Now, the definition of the gradient is the height gain over the length. So that's 200 meters over 2,300 meters, converting everything to meters, which comes out as 0 0.087. No units because it's a ratio. Now let's work out the uncertainty. So we'll use the equation up here. The uncertainty in the gradient divided by the gradient squared equals the uncertainty in the length 0.1 over 2.3 squared plus the uncertainty in the height 30 over 200 squared. Noted I haven't bothered converting everything to meters because this is a ratio so if you convert to meters it makes no difference. You're just multiplying both the top and bottom by a thousand which will cancel out. So you can leave things in whatever units as long as they're consistent top and bottom. Anyway that comes out as 0 0.092. So the uncertainty in g is equal to the value of g times the square root of 0 0.092, which comes out as 0 0.0249, which we'll call about 0 0.02. So the gradient is 9, 0.09, plus or minus 0 